Well, folks, continuing on with the collaboration in Canvas series, this time we're looking at one of the video conferencing systems inside RMIT's instance of Canvas, and it's called Collaborate Ultra. When you go into your course uh, or any one of your courses, you should see in the course navigation on the left a link to Collaborate Ultra. If you don't see it in this list, try going to Settings and then clicking the Navigation tab finding it in there and enabling it, and then coming back to here or from there, click Collaborate Ultra. So this is a system for people to meet online live, but you could also use it for what I'm doing right now, screen recording uh, and recording presentations without uh, people in the meeting necessarily. I'll show you how to do that. When you open up Collaborate Ultra, by default, there is a uh, session called Course Room. And by default, it's unlocked, meaning it's available to enter. And you can get the launch link there. Or over here, you can get a copy of the guest link. That's if you want people to uh, email people the link to join the session, edit the sessions for uh, details, edit the settings for this session, reports, and then you can lock the course room. Uh, copying the course link, uh, guest link is uh, a handy little thing to know about there. Now, this is just a permanently available room, just like any physical room. So you'd make a booking um, outside uh, between people. So let's meet in the course room at 6 p.m. tonight. People know uh, either to go back to the link that they've been emailed before or click Collaborate Ultra and join the room here. If you want to create separate sessions for, say, small groups, their own little meeting room or studios or for any other reason, um, you can create separate sessions here. When you click that, it comes up with asking you the name for the session, the date, but like the uh, course room, you can click no end to this session and then it's just a continuously available uh, room to use. Okay, session settings, you can make default everybody a participant or a presenter and other things in there. Well, let's join the course room to have a look at its features. So Collaborate Ultra from that dashboard opens in a new tab. And it takes a little while to load. I'll hide this away here. And conveniently, conveniently, um, if you're experienced with video conferencing systems, by default, you uh, come into a room with your microphone muted and your video camera muted. So if you've experienced video conferencing before, online video conferencing, uh, people, when people come in, sometimes there's a lot of background noise on their mic and it be, can be quite chaotic as the meeting gets started. So it's good that the audio is muted by default, but it also means that people need to know if they want to speak or want to be seen, they have to turn these on. You, the other little button there is raise hand to draw attention to yourself. If there's a presentation going on, you can click that and it'll send a bing to the moderator and they know that you've got a question. So outside of those main buttons there, over on the right here, we have um, a number of uh, features. By default is the room's chat. So you can send a chat message. Everybody gets that. Or you can send a message to individual attendees. This share content button has exposes a few other features. We can load up a whiteboard to draw into, or we can share an application and that's where you should, would share screen. So if we click share application, you could share the entire screen or just a particular application window. And that's, that's handy for if you're recording lectures and presentations, you might want to do that. Speaking of recording, or the other things here, share files, polling, and breakout groups. But speaking of recordings, over on the left is the main course room navigation. And you can start the recording. So theoretically, you start the recording. Maybe it's a meeting or maybe it's a presentation. Share application. Share entire screen or just an application. And then when you're finished, you can. Uh, stop recording and that will appear in the dashboard the previous window we're looking at I find after about an hour although I haven't done a large recording so 
generally speaking, half an hour to an hour, the recordings are available. Interestingly, they have the feature of use your phone, so people can join the meeting by a phone number and enter this PIN. I haven't tried that out, but that's a handy looking feature. And the rest are just uh, Blackboard Collaborate help. I think we didn't finish looking at the other features here, settings. So these are just your personal settings and that's where you can change your profile image, which by default does come into the session turned on. Whereas the uh, microphone and video are off. Okay, so that's a little look at uh, Collaborate Ultra, a very uh, simple, elegant, easy to use tool. We'll go and have a look at uh, those recordings. You need to access those, you've got to leave the session. And it prompts you for a little survey or skip that. And uh, in fact, you don't have to leave the session. You could just return back to the previous tab. And this is the dashboard for Collaborate Ultra. And you click the menu here, and then you've got your recordings. And the one I've just created isn't yet available, but the others that I have been creating are. And when you want to download that, well, you've got other options. You can watch it now, delete, copy the link. Oh, interesting, that one's not available for download, nor is that one. Okay, that's something I didn't realize. So it looks like the either the course room doesn't make itself available to download uh, because these sessions are um, yeah, sessions that I've created. Okay, so that might make me want to come full circle around to checking out the, so you can download the uh, MP4 there and that's useful for uploading to YouTube and things like that. So. Let's just go back and have a look at those session settings. Have a look at the session settings for the course room. Uh, allow recording downloads. Save that. See if that's changed the um, availability of the recordings already made. It has. Okay, so that's quite simple. You go back to the sessions and just make sure, by default, the course room doesn't allow for downloads, even for me, the uh, teacher in this course. So you've got to go into the settings to make them available, download recordings. And if you create a new session, then just remember to tick that as well. Okay, that's Collaborate Ultra. Uh, online conferencing is very useful for meetings, uh, but as well, for using it to record presentations and downloading the video and putting it up onto YouTube.